does the latest polling between President Biden and Donald Trump show the close races in several swing states? Another barometer, money racing, shows it's not much of a contest at all. If you're looking just at that, joining us now, former Treasury official, Morning Joe economic analyst, Steve Ratner. So, Steve, what can you tell us? Well, I can tell you that we have the February fundraising numbers in, and as you suggested, there are good news for very good news for Joe Biden and not such good news for Donald Trump. So let's uh, take a look at the scoreboard. So what you can see in February is that uh, President Biden plus the, D the Democratic National Committee together raised a total of uh, $53 million versus only $31 million for the Republicans. So 60% more money raised in February for the Democrat Democrats versus the Republicans. And that continues a trend that's been going on throughout this cycle of Joe Biden outraising, substantially outraising Donald Trump. $248 million raised so far by the Biden campaign and the DNC versus just $92 million by Trump and his, uh, and his affiliated committees. And and you can, and, and this is the, I'm sorry, that's the, and this, and in terms of spending, you can see that Biden is spending a lot less. Biden has spent $92 million so far versus $125 million for Trump. So spending less and raising more than Trump, and that's not a good recipe for the Trump campaign. And Steve, as you move to your second chart, it sort of explains perhaps why, because a lot of that money that Donald Trump is in fact raising is going to his legal fees. Yeah, that's, that is a uh, little known fact that should become a better known fact so donors understand what's happening to their money. But first, take a look at the disparity in cash on hand. You can see that the, uh, the Democrats have $155 million of cash on hand. The Republicans just 48 million. I heard you talking earlier about Trump perhaps canceling a rally because he didn't have the money. You can see his money actually went down for a good while and it's just ticked up very, very slightly here. The raising more, spending less has a lot to do with it. But Willie, as you said, legal fees have something to do with this too. So here's how it works. Trump has a committee called the Trump 47 Committee, which does all of the joint fundraising between uh, Trump and the, the RNC. But what is not well known, and you can look through, all through the fine print and you really won't understand this, is how it works. The first $6,600 that somebody gives goes to the Trump campaign, what we used to call hard money. Uh, prim it's primary technically in general, but 6600 The next $5,000 that someone gives goes to the Save America PAC. And that Save America PAC has been shun shuttling its money over into Trump's legal fees. I think it's about $47 million last I looked that actually is being paid for his legal fees. So if you give $10,000, a lot of your money is going to end up in Trump's legal fees. And then after that, money goes to the RNC and the state committees. But this is, this is pretty well hidden in anything you can find in the Trump documents. That's fascinating and so important, as you say, for people to know. That's where your money's going. You think you're supporting a presidential campaign. Now you're trying to support Donald Trump staying out of jail for the most part. And perhaps, Steve, why the Financial Times reported a few weeks ago that he has 200,000 fewer donors at this time in the campaign than he did four years ago. They don't want their money going to legal fees. So let's move to your last chart. Trump is ahead among small donors. What's the spread there, Steve? Yeah, so this is interesting. And this is something that the Biden campaign, I'm sure, is focused on and is thinking about because it is a change in, in what's been happening before. But if you look uh, it, at uh, small donors, and these are people who give $200 or less, uh, the Biden campaign is significantly lagging the Trump campaign in this one category. And that, that is very different than what happened in 2020 in the cycle, where and this is the full cycle for 2020, where the Biden campaign substantially outraised Trump among small donors. So there is a shift here, and it may reflect the enormous passion of Trump's base and some of the issues Biden may be having um, with his small donors. But on the big donor side, it's the opposite. And you can see on the big donor side, interestingly, Biden has just crushed Trump. And so the people who are uh, financially better off, able to give more, really are not enthusiastic mm -hmm. at all about Trump. Tr uh, Biden outraised Trump in the last cycle among this group as well, 
but not by nearly the margin that he's outraising him. Steve. Uh, hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on Get or the Cloud icon and enjoy it.